This setup took me more than 50 hours to get right, and in this video, I will cover everything from the basics to advanced techniques, including displacement maps and masks, to create realistic landscapes, adding clouds and animation to bring it to life. Before starting, make sure to subscribe and support the channel by checking out my forest generator. Link is in description. Enable the Node Wrangler add-on in the Preferences. The texture I am using is in the description. Make sure to use 4K or higher resolution textures to get better results. I am going to start with a light and a camera. Click this button to create a material. I am going to name it Landscape. Select the principal node and press Ctrl plus Shift plus T. Select the textures you downloaded. Delete this one and organize it to make it easy. So this is our normal way to use textures. It has a displacement node, but it is not working. Go into the Materials tab and under Settings. Turn this to bump and displacement. You can see something happen here. This is not correct because the plane has no subdivisions. Add a subdivision modifier and change the render value to 11 and set the viewport to 8. If you set this option to experimental, you can use adaptive sampling but I am not going to use that for now. Change the displacement settings here to something like 0.6. You can already see the effect. I am disabling the displacement for now. Let's use a noise texture as a mask. So to mix two shaders, we have to use the Mix Shader node. How it works is that if the value is 0, the first shader is shown, and if it is 1, the second shader is shown. The noise texture has a black and white output, which means white is 1 and black is 0. We can use a color ramp to make it more accurate. Plug it into the mix shader, and you can see the result. Change this to 4D so we can control the W value. Every value gives different results. Set the scale to 3. Play with the color ramp until you get something you want. Increase the detail to its max value. Let's just create a quick water shader by duplicating this principal shader. Change the color. Decrease the roughness and increase the transmission value. Connect it into the mix shader node. Let me quickly organize it. Now when you plug the displacement back, you will notice that displacement is same as it is was. This is because we haven't created a mask for the displacement. You have to use a mix color. Plug the noise mask we created earlier in the factor. I am going to change this value to something close to black. So how this works is that it adds dark spots where the second shader will be, just like we did in the mix shader. It is still not better because we are using the same mask. Just duplicate the color ramp and change it slightly like I have done here. The displacement one is slightly bigger, which makes it look better.
Let's improve the water shader. Add a noise texture. Set the scale to 150 because it's a huge land. Add a bump node and decrease the strength. I am going to use my cinematic starter pack to add water. It's not necessary, but it will give some depth. I am also going to add volume metrics from my starter pack. It's free, link is in description. Increase the anisotropy to something like 0.7. Let's add some clouds, add a cube. Create a new material and add a principled volume node. Add a texture coordinate node and a vector math node. Set it to multiply. Add a mix color and set it to linear light. Add a noise texture and set it to 4D. Connect it and duplicate this node and set it to length. Add a math node and set it to less than. Duplicate it and set it to multiply. Connect it into density. Set these values to something like this and here is your cloud. Change the anisotropy to 0.7. This node controls the density and this controls the scale. Duplicate it a bunch of times and here you got it. Now the fun part, animation. Let's start by the clouds. Add an empty and animate its location. Set it as a parent. This is simple. Let's take one more step further. Animate the x-axis of the noise texture by keyframing different values. Press T and set this to linear. To animate the water, I am just going to use the water shader from my starter pack. It's animated in the paid version, so go buy it and support the channel. But if you don't want to do that, animate the W value for the water and play with it until you get the right speed. I am using this add-on for camera animation All the links are in description. Support the channel by buying my starter pack and also check out my new forest generator. Subscribe and check out this video.